Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Reggie Bono and welcome back to my channel. And this camera right here has booked me some clients. Well, it's a little bit more nuanced than that and we'll get to that later in the video. But thank you for tuning in and my channel is all about tips and tricks for beginner photographers and videographers that are trying to grow and expand their business. And if you've been enjoying our content so far, please hit that like and subscribe button. It really means a lot and it would help this channel grow. And don't forget to hit that little bell button on the side to get updated with any new videos we may drop. So with that being said, let's get into it. So let me give you all a little background. In 2018, a little company called ByteDance developed an app called TikTok that specializes in short form content. Now, this app would allow users to submit videos that could range from three seconds up to 10 minutes. It became a international craze. And throughout the years, it's only gotten bigger and bigger and bigger. And as time goes on, our need for more short form content continues to grow. And with companies like Facebook and Instagram following suit, a lot of companies are definitely riding the hype train and attempting to grow their social media presence by creating short form content to upload to some of these platforms. Now, the thing about these videos that are uploaded to these social media platforms like Instagram, Facebook and TikTok is that these videos are all in portrait mode. These apps are designed by nature to specifically be used on our cell phones. And as a result, the videos are shot and uploaded in portrait mode. And for those that don't know, portrait mode is when the camera is held in a vertical orientation versus a landscape orientation, which is held in a horizontal mode. So to get around this issue, I had to set up a weird camera rig that would allow me to quickly transition from landscape mode to portrait mode whenever I want, while also maintaining the versatility to be used on a tripod, slider, or gimbal if I need to. So first things first, I wanted a camera that could shoot in 4K 120 FPS. I wanted that super buttery slow motion along with the ability to crop in if I need to in post-production. And since I'm a Canon shooter and I also do wedding photography, my go-to choice was the Canon R5 with a small rig cage attached to it. And I know that someone out there is side-eyeing me right now because of the overheating issues that plague the Canon R5. But I'll be honest with you, after several firmware updates, my camera rarely, if ever, overheats. Now, my focal length of choice is a 35 millimeter. So I adapted the Sigma 35 millimeter F1.4 lens to the Canon R5. The more I thought about it, most of my clients have me doing work that's in close quarters. So I'm always allowed to get up and close in the action. Um, now, don't get me wrong. As always, you can use whatever lens you personally vibe with the most. Next, I attached a top handle to the top of the camera rig, and then I took a small rig side handle grip and attached it to the bottom of the cage. The both of these combined allow me to hold and grip the camera in a portrait mode and then quickly switch to landscape orientation if it's necessary. And both of these handles are incredibly easy to remove, so when I want to place my rig on a gimbal, I can do that at any time. Now my rig wouldn't be complete without a shotgun microphone. So my shotgun microphone of choice is the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus. The main benefit of this mic is that it turns off every time the camera turns off. So no battery is wasted if you accidentally forget to turn it off. This is an incredibly useful feature because if I accidentally forget to power down my mic, it does it for me automatically. And lastly, I placed an LED light on top of my rig just in case I need some extra light if the shot needs it. One thing about me is that I hate doing things over and over and over again. So anything to simplify the process is truly welcome. And that's why this rig is so awesome to me because whenever I need to, I could quickly place it on my gimbal, slider, or tripod if I put an arc of Swiss plate at the bottom and mount it to pretty much anything. And having the ability to switch from landscape to portrait mode on the fly is so damn convenient. Now you might ask yourself, why do I need to shoot in portrait mode? Well, technically you could just shoot your footage in 4K landscape, then recompose and post without losing much visual resolution. Well, to be honest, you can do that and I'm sure that you can get away with shooting like that for quite some time without running into any potential issues. But for me, I like to get things right while I'm in camera. This way I can get my composition right and I know that I got the shot. So I don't need to do any type of heavy lifting in post.
So early in this video, I said that this rig regularly nets me some clients. Well, that is nuanced because the rig itself is simply just a tool. I want you to think about this. A novice with a red camera will never be able to book high-end clientele. Meanwhile, you give an expert some entry-level gear and they'll be regularly able to book customers that are willing to pay a fortune. There's a quick lesson to be had here. This tool fulfills a specific need for a specific niche client. Times are changing and I find it incredibly important for my business to be able to adapt with the times. And as I said before, the reason why I even created a rig such as this is to adapt to my client's needs. Think about things this way. You could have a client that makes the best burgers in town. Honestly, these burgers can be life changing, but this particular client may have no online social media presence. Now, in this day and age, that's absolutely disastrous for the business. And this business can be doomed to fail. So what's your role as a videographer for a company like this? Your job is to position yourself in such a way that you can create short form content for these companies. Reels, stories, and TikToks, you name it. Tap into this market and I guarantee you that clients will be willing to pay. And truth be told, I'm not the biggest fan of social media, but I view it as a necessary part of the business at this point. My passion lies with making awesome videos and taking great photos, but it seems as with the boom in popularity of Instagram Reels and TikTok videos, my entire business model had to completely shift overnight, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, it's just how things are until the next fad comes around. So let me know what type of camera rig you shoot with or what improvements would you make to my rig? Just comment down below. And if you made it this far in the video, I want to say thank you for watching. And if you haven't by now, please hit that like and subscribe button for more upcoming content. It would mean the world to our business. And if you have the chance, follow us on Instagram at RB Studios Photography. So with that being said, get out there and have an awesome day. And until next time, peace.